Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 video. In this video, we'll complete our uh, Unreal Engine tutorial for third person shooter. And this video will make the aim offset for our character. But first, I want to make uh, some changes here. I want to uh, start the I want to make the character it starts uh, the game it starts with a weapon in uh, attached to the hands so let's make a new function call it uh, spawn weapon on uh, start or any name you want and let's go back to the spawn weapon and get this let's copy copy this uh, code and paste it here and let's make some changes first of all we need to delete these nodes we do not need them then here this weapon to spawn I will make a, a new bo um, what to say a new enum. I duplicate this. I will not use this same in this enum because uh, this enum is already set from the uh, data table of the weapon. But here I will uh, name this enum. Name it. Uh, Open at game. Sorry, start. Let's make it an instance editable and put it here. And let's get this function and put it at uh, begin play. Put it here. Now we start the game with the weapon in the hand of the character. Now let's start making our aim offset. Let's go to the animation folder and make a new folder. Call it aim offset. Uh, at the start we need animations for the aim offset. Let's get this one this animation and put it here in the folder and make it copy not move because we need uh, to make some animations from this single animation and let's open the aim offset and go to the animation and select the aim offset and choose our skeleton male skeleton let's call it AO my aim offset now let's open the aim offset uh, basically the aim offset is like the blend space but this one uh, uses additive uh, animations it uses additive animations on top of a preview animation or like I say or a, a reference animation to play our additive animations on top so here we have also two axes horizontal and vertical the horizontal I will call it yo and the vertical I will call it pitch and let's change them to minus 180 to the 180 the same for the pitch minus 180 and here 180 now uh, we need uh, let's check this snap to grid 
now we need our animations first before the animations let's go here and uh, put the preview base pose uh, I will use the idle rifle idle hip let's add before it the s underscore rifle idle hip and we need animations now we cannot use these animations like you see here because these animations are not additive so we need to make some additive animations here we will make animations from this single animation so uh, let's open this how to make animations first let's we, we can record animations from this single animation how we stop the play uh, we, we stop playing the animation and we click on the record now the first animation i will use is the hip let's record first let's specify our folder here i will put it in the animation i'm i'm offset let's call it s underscore idle rifle hip underscore additive let's record some two seconds that's enough let's open it now we have this idle animation now let me go to back to our aim space hip now you want the look up this method is easier instead of instead of deleting animations and sometimes it doesn't go well so just record now record the other one let's call it s underscore mm, look up hip and rifle let me copy it because I will use it multiple times now record two seconds that's enough now let's now record the look down paste it here and change this to down also two seconds that's enough now we have the up and down I want the left this is a uh, left horizontal or zero degrees and we will have also uh, left up and down let me record it left mm. How do we call it horizontal? Just left. That's enough. Now left up. LT underscore up underscore hip also two seconds now left down lt underscore down underscore hip was this enough now right 
here on the 60 right also two seconds right up underscore also two seconds now right down RT underscore down underscore hit also two seconds now let's go to our animations here these animations we should uh, change them to additive here let's uh, select our uh, th these animations and look for asset actions and edit selection and property matrix this will make it easier because we may want to change we want to make the same change for all these animations so we do not need to do them separately now let's change this relative settings to mesh space and choose selected animation scaled and also go here to pick an animation s underscore idle rifle hip let's close this one and let's check this one and go to the now we have our animations let's go to the uh, blend uh, aim offset now let's arrange our animations here in the middle we should put this one the idle well I didn't, uh, didn't choose our or yes it's additive okay okay now uh, and for the uh, 180 degree let's find our look up hip look up this one if we test now it's going up now for the look down hip here now we have the vertical now for the right and left for the uh, for the le left is the uh, the negative 180 and the right or the right this one right now we have right and left now we need the right up and the right down and the left up and the left down let's see now we have our blend space is ready now let's go to the animation blueprint uh, of our character here we need to add the this aim offset here before the uh, control rig because we want the control rig to be the last one because the order here uh, matters so if you put the aim offset after the control rig this uh, will mess the animation because later on we will when we will add the hand IK it will not work because if you want the hand IK to play uh, above or on top of all the other animations you need to put it at last here in the controller at last 
but if you put the aim of set at last it will play on top of the other animations so we need to cal uh, to calculate the yo and pitch for our character how do we calculate it we have we either calculated here in the animation blueprint or we can calculate it uh, in in our player uh, blueprint but uh, I will I can do it here let's make a custom event call it uh, calculate or make it function why a custom event calculate yo and pitch now how do we calculate your own pitch well, we uh, get the difference between the control uh, between the control rotation and the uh, actual rotation of the character so we need first we need the control rotation get control uh, first we need to get the owner get owner or no not owner we have a reference for our player get control rotation and here get actor rotation we need the delta which is the difference between these two rotations delta delta rotator here the control rotation will be in the A and the actor rotation in the B and break the rotator now we need the yo and pitch promote to a variable this one to pitch and the yo that's it and don't forget to put the function here in the event graph to test let's test let's print the string and see if it is working well it is not working because here in the okay here uh, go to the class defaults and look for pawn use controller yo let's disable it now okay we need to change certain things because if you uh, here I will leave it unticked but on movement when the, the character is moving I will set it to true and when we are stopping I will set it to uh, false so uh, here set use controller rotation yo here on movement right or left we set it to true and on stopping the movement or on we release our here when the movement uh, trigger is released it will return back to the uh, false 
position now let's try now if we are stopping here we can look around so if we move we will use the rotation now let's implement this in the blend space sorry in the aim offset now let's go to the enemy graph and put this the yo here and the pitch here let's see now he's looking around here and also here let's see now later on we will fix this hand position by adding the uh, hand IK but the character is not going fully down let's test here let's test the pitch and see the values our maximum is 90 here also 90 so let's go back to our aim offset and instead of 180 it's going here so we are I will change the pitch and make it from minus 90 to plus 90 sorry before we do it now control Z let's go back before we do it let's change the position of these animations make them go to the 90 to avoid these errors or we do not need to now let's change it better to 90 Now let's see. Now he's looking down fully. Now he's looking up. Now, um, what's left? Uh, uh, what's left is uh, here when we reach uh, when the pitch uh, or, or the yo when it reaches uh, let's see if it reaches 180 We need it to be to 90 also let's change it in the blend space uh, or, or the aim offset here 190 or, or 90 here also to 90 let's change this minus 90 to 90 now 
we can fix the rotation when we look uh, to the right or the left by uh, using the uh, map range clamped this node will check if we reach a certain range here the range A which will be minus 90 which is when we reach the minus 90 or the left when we look to the left my, uh, 90 degrees and the range B is the 90 which is when we look to the right for 90 degrees and uh, this will give us an output output uh, we specify so when we reach the minus 90 degrees I, I want to get minus 1 sorry minus 1 on the output and uh, when we reach the 90 degrees I want 1 and we will add add actor sorry uh, let's get this uh, player add actor rotation we want the local rotation we put it here on the Z uh, so we do, we do not need the sweep well uh, we need it because sometimes we collide with things so now let's test and when we look to the right we rotate and when we look to the left also we rotate now let's go up here turn no let me jump and look eh. now i think now i'm satisfied with the uh, my character and how it's turning out now i think uh, this is enough the video is becoming long so guys if you like my content uh, please like and subscribe and share my videos and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.